We're definitely seeing those overcast skies, mostly gloomy day today here across the RGV, and that's going to remain in the picture at least for the rest of the work week. We could see some isolated showers later this afternoon, and that's what we're currently seeing right now in the lower valley. Rain very isolated in nature. However, heading into Thursday, we are expecting the arrival of a cold front that will bring the chance for some showers and storms heading into the end of our week there. So as we look at the chance for rain for the next 10 hours, just a keeping that isolated rain chance in the picture, at least through the 4 p.m. hour conditions will start to clear out gradually by 5 p.m. and some areas could receive some sunshine. So like I said, that rain definitely remaining in the lower valley, very isolated in nature. We could see an occasional downpour or two later this afternoon, but in the areas that do receive the sunshine, especially from McAllen to Rio Grande City, likely to see those temps uh, getting up to at or near 90 degrees there, so definitely uh, some warm and muggy conditions are back in the picture and then overcast skies expected for the overnight hours there. So the big picture is we head to the rest of our work week. We're going to continue that cloud cover, those muggy conditions, that atmospheric moisture just sticking along the southern half of the state there. And then heading into the next seven days, we will see that next rainmaker arrive on Thursday in the form of a weak cold front. And of course, I'm using the word cold front, but Temperatures really not dropping all that much here across the RGV, but we very well could see some of those scattered showers and storms. This weather model right now showing that most of the heavier rain activity remaining to the north of us, but of course earlier weather models, uh, the previous runs showed a little bit more widespread showers and storms uh, around Thursday afternoon for us here across the valley. So whether or not this is going to be severe or strong storms, a little bit too early to tell, but of course we are in those spring season. It's very common for these uh, storms to pack a bit of a punch here across Texas as we head into the next few days there as we head into the April month here. But of course, another cold front on the way for Saturday, which is going to bring another chance for some showers there. So a reinforcing cold front for the weekend, getting those temps and keeping those temps down into the 80s. So very hot conditions expected for the next 24 to 48 hours and then slightly cooler weather on the way for the end of the work week. For your seven day forecast, highs in the 80s and 90s, lows in the 70s. We will see that next uh, system move through on Thursday, bringing slightly cooler conditions and then mostly sunny skies expected for Friday. So we do have some sunshine days in the forecast for the next seven days. But of course, expect the next some few storms with those two cold fronts as they make their way through the valley. Of course, that's going to keep temperatures on the cooler side as we head towards the end of the week into the weekend.